Today I want to show you a really easy way how you can assess whether or not you're pulling your deadlifts with your back. Before I go into that, firstly you need to understand that deadlifts do load your back, they do load your erector spinae. So if you're feeling soreness or DOMS through your erectors in the day or days following your training session, know that that's totally normal and it's not necessarily a sign that you're pulling with your back. The job of your erector spinae is to maintain a rigid torso throughout the lift. Their contraction is isometric, which means there's no movement through flexion or extension. They just hold the back in a really stable and still motionless position so that the muscles that are responsible for the lift are able to perform their role effectively, your glutes and hamstrings. So again, your erectors are involved, they are loaded, so totally normal to feel soreness through your, uh, through your back following your training session in the days uh, following your training. But understanding that your erectors don't necessarily um, extend your back during the deadlift is the premise by which this assessment is based. So let that sink in for a second. The role of the erectors is not to extend the back, their role is to maintain a static position. The assessment goes as follows. Simply load a bar to a really lightweight, 40, 50, 60 kilos, and perform one or two repetitions and treat the weight as if it's your one rep max. So get tight, load your lats, lock your lats down, all that type of stuff. Really treat it like it's a heavy weight. And record the lift or have someone watch the lift from behind, a little bit above, a little bit to the side. And have a look at what your back is doing as the bar breaks the floor. If your back is moving into extension as the bar breaks the floor, then it suggests that you are pulling with your back too much. It says that your spine, your erectors, are trying to move into extension as the bar breaks the floor. Again, that's not the objective of the erectors. Their job is isometric in nature. So take a look at this video. What you'll see is that the t-shirt crumples up as the bar breaks the floor. Again, suggesting that the body, the spine, is trying to move into extension, which is not what we're trying to do. Instead, the back needs to stay stable and needs to stay motionless as the bar breaks the floor, which you can see in this video. The t-shirt doesn't crumple and crinkle. It's a really easy way to tell. Look at the t-shirt. And instead, the back stays stable as the bar breaks the floor. There's a couple of reasons why you might be doing this, and there's a couple of ways to obviously fix it. The first might simply be technique and cueing. The deadlift I like to think of as being two parts. Below the knee is a push, and above the knee is a pull. If you're trying to pull the weight off the floor or trying to lift the weight as best you can, what you might be doing is you might actually be uh, falling under this floor and pulling with your back. Instead, think of it as a push. So cues like push through your feet, feet through the floor, leg press, load your quads, press through your legs. These types of things are gonna help you understand that in order to initiate the lift, to break the bar off the floor, you have to use your legs and not your back. The second might be uh, a breathing and bracing issue and a lack of understanding about lumbo pelvic control. I've got a number of videos on my channel about this, so uh, feel free to find them. Uh, you know, things like glute activation drills are really good. These are the exercises that you need to understand and, and become aware of so that you're able to control your lower back, your spine, your pelvis, and that these muscles don't move in ways that they're not supposed to and that everything there is rigid. So give this a go if you haven't done this before. Uh, it's actually quite a common issue that I see in a lot of intermediate tree lifters. So have a look at what your deadlift looks like from behind, while you're doing a lightweight, while you're treating it heavy. And let me know in the comment section below what you discover. If this is something that you're, that you're having trouble with, let me know and I can try to help out as best I can. Uh, if you found this video useful, let me know again in the comment section below. I'd love to kind of open this discussion up a little bit more. Thanks for watching the video and I will talk to you next time.